three. Bert, Bert, all right, let's start it all over. <laughs> back to another episode of the Curation Desk. I'm your host, Fred Minnick. I am joined by Andrea Merriweather. I own a company called Bar Fair Concepts. We're all about curating wonderful bourbon tourism experiences. I'm the editor-in-chief of Bourbon Plus Magazine, and my brother once shot me in the eye with a BB gun. I first met Andrea at a restaurant downtown. She took care of us and just had this incredible personality and, and I've seen her rise into um, the American whiskey scene and I think in 10 years everybody in the world will know who Andrea is. Welcome to the show Yay! and uh, first things first you gotta wear an ascot. Have, have you taken some classes on how to tie this? Are you oh, ready? Oh heavens no. Let's, let's go for a 101. Put it over your neck like that. You want to get one end longer than the other and flip it over. This way? It's hard to... Oh, it's hard. this is so... No, so much. the other one, the other one. Okay, there. so... Uh, so what you... No, no. Uh, you take it like this, like that, and now cinch it. Fancy there. That looks good, I mean, actually. am I going for like tea at Buckingham Palace? That, you know, this could go for tea at Buckingham Palace or or uh, communion with Kanye. Please. Kanye, please. Sunday communion in Kentucky. And there'll be bourbon mimosas. I do believe that Kanye does love bourbon. I do. So speaking of bourbon, let's 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 really get into it. So we've got a few things here to taste. You brought me a little something, something, a little Saint Cloud here. Now this is I I, I didn't know that you had uh, an affiliation with the bourbon, but you said that you've been really close with the owner. Yes, Ray Walker, this famed uh, Burgundy wine maker. Um, he was doing it in France. He came back to the U.S. and he actually has roots in Kentucky, span back 200 years, family wow. lineage, and wanted to pay homage to his roots. So I think today is a good day to join the Saint Hood, Fred. Well, let's see what it's all about. This is—is is this for sale in the United States? Yes, it is. Awesome. That's a nice uh, little weight to it there. Oh, yeah. You put that in a slingshot. <laughs> Use it as a weapon. Now, what's the makeup of this of this whiskey? Is it finished in anything? Is it... Uh... So, French oak barrels. Okay. Uh, is what I use, 120 proof. Yeah, some packing some heat. So, copper pot distilled. Do you know who's distilling this? I do not. I know it is being distilled in Louisville. In hand, cool, cool. Love a good high proof. Ah, it was uh, bottled on my wife's birthday. Oh, how special. Yeah. Well, it's got a, it's got a nice nose for being young. Do you get a hunk of cinnamon in this thing? Yes. My God, it's got a, this, this is like a cinnamon, really cinnamon forward nose. Mm -hmm. And then right underneath that, it's like a, a little bit of Cornbread in the oven. I love that cornbread in the oven. It's uh, it, it this is a really nice nosing whiskey, but you know, nosing a whiskey can only take you so far. The proof always in the taste. Ah, damn, that's good. Oh yeah, I like that full palate experience. Yeah. This is really good for being under four years old. I, I don't, I don't know how much under it's for, but it can't be much. Well, this has got to be, th this has got to be three. Well, it says 2016, so yeah. three. <laughs> oh. Is it only in Kentucky or is it around the? No, so uh, New York, California, 85 MSRP. So it's $85. Yes. The only thing that I would say uh, against it is that it's got great nose, it's got very good palate, but, and this happens sometimes with, with whiskeys that aren't of age, it drops off, so the finish isn't there. So this is St. Cloud Kentucky Bourbon. It is a, a sourced whiskey from a famed uh, winemaker. It is cast strength or 120 proof, 
And if you like uh, higher proof products, especially like maybe bookers, I, I think you'll uh, you'll find this uh, very attractive. Join the sainthood. My name is Andrea Merriweather, and being true enough to my southern roots, uh, when American Pharaoh returned home, I jumped the fence to greet him. Ooh.